really ought to look at the different parts of that legislation because I think some of the parts uh, are well supported by a number of House members at least and uh, some of the parts of which uh, were labeled in a controversial way may be something that uh, that we could uh, repeal for the for the time and go through the fall election without those complications uh, in front of us. For some reason, it, the uh, referendum and initiative, which uh, had been part of our Constitution since the 1912 Constitutional Convention, uh, have become uh, favored by some in terms of dealing with legislative issues, uh, which was not done uh, previously. And so we are looking at uh, the growth of the Californiafication of Ohio. That is not a compliment. <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's a, that's a tough word, Californiafication, right? That's a television show on Showtime, isn't it? Um, I'm sure the producer will ask you to come on, speaker, right? Um, I, I, in the spirit of bipartisanship, um, I, I think uh, I, I agree with the speaker in the, to the extent that uh, the legislature acted. Uh, we we uh, passed a bill. Some of us didn't vote for it, but it, it did pass the legislature. And then uh, the people spoke. We collected, uh, uh, what is it, 400,000 signatures, I believe. And uh, I think the, the process is, is in place. Uh, I have a great deal of respect for Secretary Husted. Um, and got a chance to, to know him a little bit when he served in the Senate. And so I, I, I compliment him on, on thinking uh, broadly and thinking differently. But I think in this instance, I'd have to agree with the speaker that, that it, perhaps it would be unconstitutional for us to uh, withdraw the bill or, or whatever the proper terminology is for it. Um, because the, the process is in place and the people have to decide how, how they want to vote. I would uh, uh, support uh, uh, Secretary Houston's recognition that House Bill 194 is terribly flawed. Uh, we made those points on the floor, uh, but um, were ignored. Uh, there is no excuse for reducing early vote opportunities. There's uh, no excuse for refusing to allow a county to send out absentee ballot applications if they choose to do that, uh, except uh, to create long lines in urban uh, areas uh, and uh, suppress votes, uh, which uh, I believe was clearly the intent of that bill. Uh, uh, and I'm surprised to hear uh, Speaker Batchelder, who um, uh, has uh, shown populist tendencies over time, uh, <laughs> criticize the uh, uh, constitutional provision that allows people to come out and challenge politicians' handiwork if they choose to do so through referendum. Uh, to that point, I, I guess uh, uh, I was uh, amazed to watch uh, Secretary of State's epiphany yesterday uh, through the media because major portions of House Bill 194 were his. And I think it's important that everyone understand that the Senate began discussions with the Secretary of State's office weeks ago about the idea of reviewing and revising portions of 194. Now, what the right vehicle is, whether it's repeal and reintroduction, that was all being discussed. And there were three areas, three broad areas that we wanted to look at. We wanted to look at the early voting situation. We wanted to look at uh, election operations, the administrative side, and we wanted to look at the petition process. And we had been in discussions uh, with the Secretary over the last few weeks. And as recently as Friday of last week, it asked for uh, information from them about the constitutionality, because it is a question and there is no precedent. Uh, again, on Monday, uh, asked for follow-up to understand where the Secretary of State's concerns were, and heard nothing. And so I was quite surprised to read a press release yesterday afternoon uh, announcing that the Secretary has decided we should repeal it when he had been silent with his colleagues in the legislature for weeks on this very issue. Very disappointed, uh, but uh, will not uh, deter the Senate uh, from reviewing this issue and, and doing what's best for the workers in Ohio. And the House uh, uh, had a 
similar sentiment, and we look forward to working with the Senate on this.